Hey there, it's Ilze B here. Welcome to day 12 of my Latvian challenge for words a day. And today I have another dialogue for you. If you haven't met my actresses, I'd like you to meet them now. This is Marite. Sveika Marite. And this is Alice. Sveika Alice. Let's do it like we did it before. I'll give you the dialogue without any explanations because I know that some of you feel very excited that you can understand everything that's being said. And after that, I will start teaching you the new words and phrases. So here's the dialogue. Sveika Marit! Sveika Alice! Kur šudien tiekamies? Hmm. Kur tiekamies? Kur tiekamies? Tiekamies domē. Domē? Nu labi, tiekamies domē. Cikos? Cikos? Tiekamies vienos. Vienos? Labi, tiekamies vienos. Atā, līdz vieniem. Atā. Any guesses? Do you need to listen to it again? All right, I'll play it again without explanations. Here goes. Sveika, Marit! Sveika, Alice! Kur šodien tiekamies? Hmm, kur tiekamies? Kur tiekamies? Tiekamies domē. Domē? Nu labi, tiekamies domē. Cikos? Cikos? Tiekamies vienos. Vienos? Labi, tiekamies vienos. Atā, līdz vieniem. Atā. I'm sure that by now you can distinguish the words sveika, labi, and atā from the language flow. Some of you might think that there was another word that you understood. Was it the word duame? If you think it's the same word as duoma or duoma, then this is not the case. And I'll teach you that word now. So once more, this is the word. And as an English speaker, probably your first instinct is to pronounce it as domi, which is not correct. Remember, there is the diphthong u which is different than it is pronounced in English. In English, you say O, oh, and in Latvian, it would be U, as if those vowels that make up the diphthong would have switched places. And the final vowel is E. It's not E, it's E. So the word is Duame. Duame. Let's pronounce it together twice. Duame. Duame. Duame means a town hall or a city council. Knowing that, can you guess what the ladies were talking about? Even if you can't, I'm going to tell you now. They were arranging the place where to meet and the time when to meet. I'll play you the dialogue once more now and this time it will be translated into English. Please listen. Sveika, Marit! Sveika, Alice! Kur šodien tiekamies? Hmm, kur tiekamies? Kur tiekamies? Tiekamies domē. Domē? Nu labi, tiekamies domē. Cikos? Cikos? Tiekamies vienos. Vienos? Labi, tiekamies vienos. Atā, līdz vieniem. Atā. So now you know the topic, and probably the most important word for this topic is tiekamies. Tiekamies. This word means let's meet. And although there is just the word meet, and there is no word that corresponds the word we, we can tell by the ending of the word tiekamies that it would be linked to the personal pronoun that translates as we in English. 
by now you must have already noticed that in Latvian often we don't even use the personal pronouns that are subjects in the sentences. Subject of a sentence is the doer and we know that the girls talk about themselves so they would call themselves we and they don't need to say that word if they have the action word that has the ending that already expresses the idea. But let's get back to the word, and that word was tiekamies. Tiekamies. It's a three-syllable word, and the rhythm, therefore, is yes, now, now. Tiekamies. The last syllable is mies. Mies. There is that diphthong ia in it, which causes difficulties to English speakers. So I'll pronounce it again. Mies, and now let's pronounce it together twice. Mies, mies, and the syllable that stands before the syllable mies is ka, ka. It's very simple, so we can pronounce it together twice. Ka, ka, and the two syllables together would be ka mies. Kamias. Let's pronounce it together twice. Kamias. Kamias. And the first syllable is tia. And there is that diphthong again. Tia. Tia. Let's pronounce it together twice. Tia. Tia. And now the entire word, I'll pronounce it once. Listen carefully, because then I want you to pronounce it together with me, twice. Tia kamies. And remember that the stress is on the first syllable. Let's do it. Tia kamies. And one more time. Tia kamies. But now you really need to pronounce it by yourself. All right, say it. Very well, thank you. But now I'd like you to listen to the first part of the dialogue because I'd like us to practice pronouncing that part of the dialogue after we learn one more new word, which will be a very short word. But let's listen to that first part of the dialogue. Sveika, Mari. Sveika, Alise! Kur šodien tiekamies? Hmm, kur tiekamies? Kur tiekamies? Tiekamies domē. Domē? Nu labi, tiekamies domē. And you already saw in the transcription of the dialogue that I had highlighted one word. And that word was kur. Kur. That word means where. It is a simple word, and I think it's easy to remember it because there is the R sound in it, and so there is an R sound in the English word too. But I'd like to drill the question sentence with you, because that might be very important for you to know, because I'm sure you will be able to use it. So the question sentence was, Kur šodien tiekamies? And the rhythm is, yes, Yes, no. Yes, no, no. Kur šodien tiekamies? So the last word in this question sentence was tiekamies, the word that we studied at the beginning of this lesson. And the word that precedes the word tiekamies was the yesterday's word šodien. These two words together are šodien tiekamies. Šodien tiekamies. And then the new word, kur, which precedes the word šodien. And the entire sentence together is kur šodien tiekamies. Kur šodien tiekamies. Do you think you can try reading together with me? I'll reduce the pace a little bit. Let's read it. Kur šodien tiekamies? 
kur let's read it once more kur šodien tiekamies but since this is a question you may raise the intonation and it might sound like this kur šodien tiekamies the voice goes up at the end of the sentence kur šodien tiekamies of course I'm exaggerating it now but that's how you learn try to mimic my intonation kur šodien tiekamies let's do it again kur šodien tiekamies very well thank you but now we need to listen into the remaining part of the dialogue because there is the fourth word that you need to learn today so let's listen to that part of the dialogue now. Cikos? Cikos? Tiekamies vienos. Vienos? Labi, tiekamies vienos. Atā, līdz vieniem. Atā. At this point you may have noticed that there is one more word that I didn't teach to you, but that was in the dialogue. And that word is leads. I'm not drilling it to you today because that would be the fifth word of the day. But I will tell you that it means till. And leads vieniem means till one. And in that sentence you may notice that vienos has changed the ending to vieniem. But now I'd like us to practice the last new word, cikos. Cikos. Cikos means at what time? And it has that C sound in it which causes difficulties to many English speakers. So I'll pronounce it one more time and then I'd like you to pronounce it after me twice. Cikos. And now let's pronounce it together twice. Cikos. Cikos. And the phrase was Cikos tiekamies vienos. This is how it sounded in the dialogue. Please listen. Cikos. Cikos. Tiekamies vienos. I'll play it again. Cikos. Cikos. Tiekamies vienos. And now let's practice saying these two short sentences. The rhythm will be yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no. And in the first word, cikos, the intonation goes up. Cikos, tiekamies vienos. When the intonation goes up, it means that the person is thinking at what time she should suggest the meeting. Cikos, tiekamies vienos. Yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no. But like always, I'd like to start practicing from the last word. And the last word of the sentence is vienos. We already know the word viens and viena. It is the same word, but with different endings. This time we have the ending os. Vienos. And it means at one. In Latvian, we don't need a preposition that would translate as at. Its function is in the ending of the word, vienos. Let's say that word together, vienos. Let's say it twice again, vienos, vienos. And now the full sentence, I'll remind how it sounded, tiekamies vienos. Let's read it together twice. Tiekamies vienos. One more time. Tiekamies vienos. Very well. And now let's add the word cikos. And let's start with that word. Cikos. Tiekamies vienos. Let's do it again. Cikos. Tiekamies Vienos. But now I'll show on the screen the concentrated dialogue that I'd like you to take away from today. It will sound like this. Kur šodien tiekamies? 
tiekamies domē. Nu labi, tiekamies domē. Cikos? Tiekamies vienos. Labi, tiekamies vienos. I will include this dialogue in the PDF file that you can download by clicking the link in the description of this video. But now let's listen to Alice and Marite one more last time before I end this lesson. I'm sure that now you will understand everything that they are saying. Sveika, Marite! Sveika, Alice! Kur šodien tiekamies? Hmm, kur tiekamies? Kur tiekamies? Tiekamies domē. Domē? Nu labi, tiekamies domē. Cikos? Cikos? Tiekamies vienos. Vienos? Labi, tiekamies vienos. Atā, līdz vieniem. Atā. And that's the end of my lesson. Atā. Uz redzēšanos!